And then there were two. With DeSantis having bowed out of the race, there was only one serious contender left for Donald Trump to knock out for the GOP nomination, and that would be Nikki Haley. Based on the most recent available polling data, former President Donald Trump appears to be leading in the New Hampshire GOP primary. A CNN poll, for example, conducted by the University of New Hampshire shows Trump with a 50% support among likely Republican primary voters, while his closest competitor, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, stands at 39%. Meanwhile, another poll conducted from January 20th through the 21st, which was taken after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced the suspension of his campaign and then endorsed Donald Trump, shows that Trump's lead remained substantial. While Haley did gain two points with DeSantis' departure, reaching 38 percent, Trump's position as the frontrunner, though, was not really changed by this latest development. It is also worth noting here that DeSantis supporters in New Hampshire are more likely to back Donald Trump as their second choice candidate, which should help further solidify Trump's lead there. The CNN UNH poll found that 62% of likely GOP New Hampshire voters who selected DeSantis as their first choice would then choose Trump as their second choice. Now, there is one potential fly in the ointment for the Trump campaign here. In this primary, registered independents can vote tomorrow. It is an open primary, after all, meaning undeclared voters can participate along with the Republican voters. And this could potentially influence the outcome as undeclared voters or independents make up a significant portion of the electorate in New Hampshire. As of the latest data from November 20th of 2023, approximately 39.9% of registered voters in New Hampshire are unaffiliated or independent. This makes them the largest group of voters in the state, outnumbering both registered Democrats, who have 30 percent, and Republicans with 29.8 percent. According to polling data collected from 1999 to 2014, about 45 percent of independent voters in New Hampshire consistently vote Democratic, while about 40 percent consistently voted Republican. This means that there is potential for Democratic-leaning voters to give a boost to Nikki Haley potentially prolonging the GOP campaign, although to be frank, it would take a miracle for Haley to really remain afloat in this GOP nomination process, even if she pulls a miracle out in New Hampshire. For example, Trump's polling data within the party shows a commanding lead of over 69 percent, which is the highest it has been yet in this campaign cycle. Still, the fact remains that the primary could face some surprises, depending on what happens with the independent vote here. And Nikki Haley is indeed focusing on the independent voters where polling data tries to tell us that she holds a comfortable lead of 49% to 41% for Trump. Interestingly, and in a way, this reminds me of Operation Chaos, a strategy initiated by America's most widely recognized conservative radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh back in 2008 during the Democratic primary. The goal of his operation back then was to prolong the Democratic primary race by encouraging Republican voters to cross party lines and vote for Hillary Clinton, who was then competing against Barack Obama for the Democratic nomination. Mr. Limbaugh believed that a prolonged and contentious Democratic primary would weaken the eventual nominee and benefit the Republican candidate in the general election. In the next bite, Klein goes on to admit that Operation Chaos is working. He doesn't say Operation Chaos. No, no, no. It doesn't. But that's not the point. We're not here for credit. Operation Chaos has created chaos. He details the chaos here in this bite. The thing is that what's happening now is I think that both of these candidates are diminishing themselves as the weeks go by. Obama is being diminished by the attacks against him, and Clinton is being diminished by the fact that she's launching all these attacks in a way that is very unusual for a Democratic candidate. You don't see a Democratic candidate often playing the race card, even in the subtle ways that Clinton has played it. That's exactly right, but that's what Operation Chaos is creating. Now, the impact of Operation Chaos has long since been debated, and some believe it had a significant effect, pointing to the Indiana primary where Clinton won by a narrow margin of 14,000 votes. Now, whether Nikki Haley can really pull off enough support from independents to actually catch Trump in the New Hampshire primary remains to be seen. And even if she somehow pulls out a win there, her chances of securing the nomination are dim at best. And now with the withdrawal of Ron DeSantis from the race and his subsequent endorsement of Donald Trump, as well as his supporters overwhelmingly favoring Trump as their number two option, time, it seems, may be running out for the former governor.